Okay, good morning and welcome to my channel. We're going to be discussing what is affordable housing. And I want to talk to you about greed, scams, waiting lists, and lotteries, okay? Look, uh, the intended purpose behind what, be, what most people call low-income housing, subsidized housing, and affordable housing, they're all the same thing. It just means that the person that owns the building gets uh, tax deductions and or credits for leasing out a certain number of apartments at a discount. But what it really ends up happening in most cases, if the government says, you know what, uh, you can lease those 10 apartments, but it needs to be, you know, in between two ranges from the low end to the high end. So let's give me, give you a good example. Um, let's say Bob on the next street over uh, on third street, uh, he's got an apartment, it's 500 square feet and uh, he wants $500 for it. Okay. So he's got tax credits and people can come apply for that apartment and it's at a discount. Okay. And now go over just one street and you got Sally. Now Sally's got the same apartment at 500 square feet, same amenities, almost the same exact apartment. Okay. But the difference is Sally wants $750. Do you see what the problem is here? So, you know, a lot of uh, landlords, what they're doing is, um, if you look at the market rate, so say all the apartments in the area are around uh, 750, what would be the purpose of leasing your apartment? Saying that your apartment is subsidized, uh, low income or affordable, how could you say that it's low income when you price it at six six hundred ninety nine dollars? You see the point here I'm making? I mean, give them a one dollar uh, discount. Okay, this is a game that a lot of people are playing. Um, and let me tell you something else. You know, uh, a lot of these guys have a hundred, you know, a hundred more apartments, and you know, they'll only dedicate ten to the supposed, um, you know, low income or affordable uh, housing, which you know people will go apply. But it's really more like a money generator. You know, it generates lots of cash because what they do is they just simply have people apply forever. Okay. Get a thousand different people, thousand different application fees. That all it is is an empty, empty apartments that's generating a lot of fees, and these people have no intent of actually leasing these apartments. The other scenario that I see playing out quite a bit is, um, you know, a lot of these apartment complexes and buildings are all over Google. Man, you put in affordable housing, low income housing, and uh, subsidized housing. What you'll find is a bunch of scams. Okay, these are people that are intentionally using these words in their in the titles of their websites and how you find them. And in fact, they have no tax credits, nothing. Okay, there's complete fake. All they're trying to lease is market rate. There's zero discount. So the goal is to trick you to go on down there and they say, oh, well, that's too bad. You know, um, we just leased a last uh, affordable housing unit. How about we give you, you know, $20 off a of rent and then we'll give you a normal market rate. You see how they sucker you into that? Well, that game is more common than you might think. And uh, so, you know, that's that's part of the scam, you know. Um, when I looked up information about affordable housing, I already know what it is because I am an absolute authority when it comes to Section 8 HUD housing and all of that. There's nobody, there's very few that know more than I do when it comes to this stuff. But I'll just say this, that, uh, you know, these units, so you're out there, you're looking for information on the Internet. Most of these websites... They're all spot. So they're stealing information from one site, website to the next, and they're trying to inform and tell you what an affordable apartment housing is, okay? And a lot of these articles are complete garbage. They're nowhere near the truth. They're pulling excerpts from HUD housing. They're pulling excerpts from COC housing. And so these are spawn articles either about robots or people that just simply want to make ad revenue. So you have a lot of bullshit websites and then on top of that, you filter in thousands of apartment complex and buildings that are just straight up lying. They're not really subsidized. They don't have one single tax credit to give, okay? And then moves on to, you know, these waiting lists and lottery. That's another really good hustle. I'm, we're talking about third street hustle there. Let me explain to you why, okay? When you hear the words lottery and you hear the words uh, waiting list, your first thing your mind navigates to is the fact that You've heard that a lot with HUD housing, okay? But make no mistake, these people are making their own waiting lists and their own lotteries, okay? These are not, they're not governed or, or there's no oversight by the government at all, at all, okay? This is some private owner sitting in the office inventing his own rules to his own waiting list. He's inventing his own little uh, bingo lottery with people. And, you know, the real goal of it is let's run a thousand people through it, okay? Let's run a thousand applications and we'll look for that 1% person. The person that's got a 900 credit score that works, you know, for the U.S. government, has never had an eviction, they have the perfect life, and then 
After we've made a few thousand dollars off of all the applications of people that have no chance, we'll give it to somebody that has incredible credit and incredible income, and then we'll lease that apartment. Do you see the problem with that? So the reality is these, you know, these crazy lotteries and waiting lists have nothing to do with HUD. There's no federal oversight. These are crazy people sitting in an office inventing a lottery because they're, they're depending on your mind to, to, to somehow translate that into having to something to do with HUD, when in fact it doesn't have shit to do with that, okay? So let me tell you something, man. When you're out there and you're dealing and you're looking on the internet, you've got to, the only way you're going to know who's real and who's fake, and most of it is just fake, is for you to go in person, walk in the office and say, look, under federal law, you've got to disclose whether or not you have, you have low, uh, low, this is a low income apartment that receives tax credits. Do you actually physically have a unit available? Okay. And then they have to disclose that. There's not, you know, they're, they're playing too many games. I mean, 99.9% .9 of the low income subsidized apartments, affordable apartments on the market and through all these websites, all of it, almost all of it's garbage. All the articles that I've seen written about what um, affordable housing is, is so far from reality that I think that uh, people are just, you know, they're just stealing and robbing each other's articles and, I, it took me 30 minutes of reading through articles to find even one of them that was even remotely close to what actually is what affordable housing is, okay? I mean, it's just, it's got, it's grown out of control, okay? So you have all these people just pretending. So my advice to a lot of you folks is go to Section 8 Go, man, and look there and do your due diligence when you're out there looking for uh, real uh, low-income housing, affordable housing, and subsidized housing because what you're going to end up is with a shady landlord with a crazy waiting list with whatever rules he invents or she invents and with some ridiculous lottery that's completely rigged only to accept people with the most pristine credit. Let me tell you something. If you're low income, if this is supposed to be for low income people, do you think low income people have a 900 credit score? Do you think that they're making 120000 a year? So, you know, you see, this is all just a big joke. You know, it's really, in my opinion, really just a big joke. Um, I believe that there are landlords out there that are giving discounts, you know. So let's say the unit is worth um, $750 in the area, okay? So you have several buildings with apartments at $750. And then you have an honest landlord that builds a building, gets the tax credits, and he says, look, you know, we're willing to lease our units for $500, okay? Now, that would be actually low-income subsidized housing, okay? But you know, I think that you guys are going to have a battle finding that, okay? And these guys are not going to take Section 8. It's not about a voucher, okay? They're just simply saying that they're going to give you a discount based on you being low income for the medium area income out there, okay? So you need, you know, a lot of you guys are, and are just burning up hundreds and hundreds of dollars in application fees at these fake scam uh, places. And let me tell you something. There's no law preventing them from using those buzzwords, and what I call a buzzword is low income, subsidized housing, and stuff like that. Those are buzzwords, and they can put it all on their website and their advertisements, but the reality is they're not really what they say they are, okay? So um, I'm just really disheartened by all the fakes and frauds uh, across the internet. And of course, you know, there's about 45 videos I'd love to see just deleted off YouTube because they're just so ridiculous. Who who needs that stupid answer like that? If you're going to make a video about something, at least know what the hell you're talking about, okay? But anyways, okay, folks, I've enjoyed uh, talking with you this morning, and hopefully it's opened your eyes a little bit. Look, if you really can't afford housing, maybe the best solution is to apply for a housing choice voucher, okay? Rather than battling landlords, you never know whether or not you're really getting a great deal on rent to start with, okay? All right, well, it's been a pleasure having you, and uh, we'll talk again. Bye.